Hey guys, welcome back to Neutral Gaming, and today you are watching the first ever episode of, huh, cool story, bro, where I share with you unusual gaming and esports stories from the previous week that made me go, hey, you don't get to see that every day. Our first story in this episode is about paying respect to an absolute legend in Elden Ring. For players of Elden Ring, beating the boss is the ultimate win. One player took this to the next level by helping other players beat one of the toughest bosses in all of Soulsborne games. Let Me Solo Her allows other players to summon him in co-op and then beating the boss Malenia, Hand of Michaela, wearing nothing but a jar on his head. Let Me Solo Her has done this over a thousand times already, making him an absolute legend in the community. Fans have given him tribute through fan artworks and even 3D printed miniatures. But the ultimate tribute came from Elden Ring's publishers themselves. Earlier this week, Let Me Solo Her shared on Twitter a gift package he received from Bandai Namco which had the wooden lithograph of Malenia, a congratulatory card, a map of the lands between, and an actual longsword. While Let Me Solo Her wields an iconic pair of katanas when being summoned, it is still a pretty rad gift from Bandai Namco. Going into our second story, it's Hideo Kojima being mistaken as an assassin. The world is shocked and bereaved with the news of Japanese ex-Prime Minister Shinzo Abe being shot and succumbing from his wounds just before the week ended. Eventually, videos of the incident spread and images of the perpetrator became available online. Some on the internet commented that the assassin looked like video game director Hideo Kojima and accompanied images of the assassin with pictures of Kojima in some not very tasteful situations when taken out of context. Some people don't know how to differentiate fact from fiction and that includes a politician in France and a TV station in Greece who thought that the pictures of Kojima actually belonged to the perpetrator and wrongfully attributed those images as the assassin of the ex-prime minister on tweets and on actual news coverage. Of course, these were wrong and those tweets and the news coverage were eventually taken down. Be careful what you share on the internet, guys. And for our final story, an FPS legend returns to the pro scene. Shroud is back! And by back, we don't just mean back with yet another meme team trying to compete through open qualifiers. Sentinels actually signed Shroud to be their sixth man, and they are planning to play with him in the VCP North America Last Chance Qualifiers this coming August. This news came as an absolute surprise and many people like me had to check multiple times if this was actually real and not just a prank or a meme. Turns out, it's real, and we're going to see Shroud compete in the coming months. Now, will this allow Sentinels to make a comeback and make a run for it in Champions? Well, I'd call it the stretch, but at this point, anything could happen. And that is it for this week's episode of Cool Story Bro. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel and to also click on the bell notification icon. Tune in again next week for more unusual stories in gaming and esports. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next week. Stay frosty!